Hi everybody. Welcome to this Wednesday morning edition of Good Morning God. Um, so glad I could be back with you today, even if it is recorded. Hopefully at the time that you're watching this, if you're watching as soon as it goes online, uh, I will be on the road back to Iowa. Um, so let's start our time together with song. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let me be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Our scripture this morning is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 through 28. Now Jesus was going up to Jerusalem. On the way, he took the twelve aside and said to them, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death, and will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On the third day he will be raised to life. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling down, asked a favor of him. What is it you want? he asked. She said, Grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup I am going to drink? We can, they replied. They answered, sorry. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. When the ten heard about this, they were indignant with the two brothers. Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be the first must be your slave just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is the key to the gospel message. We are to serve. We are to love as Jesus has loved. We are not to be jockeying for position amongst ourselves. Um, you know, this, this makes me think that this is the first example of a helicopter mom, right? When, when uh, the Zebedee's um, wife comes and, and takes her sons with her, says, hey, Jesus, I mean, at least she adopted a, a position of pleading, right? Um, but hey, Jesus, let, uh, let these two sit on your right and your left. Um, but that's not the way that it's going to work. Um, God gets to choose that, but they are going to have to have to work. And they are going to have to follow in Jesus' footsteps and drink from His cup. And maybe that will be asked of you in some way. So, will you be willing? Will you be willing to be last in order to be first in the kingdom? Will you be willing to serve? Um, others rather than be served if it glorifies God. Thoughts for you to consider today. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We are thankful for the example that you gave in Jesus Christ of how to serve and to love others. 
Help us to follow that example every day in order to glorify your name and bring people to the knowledge and love of you. And we pray this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God, and God will certainly go with you, and have a blessed day.